what's up YouTube this is Alex now to make a video on my sports channel cuz it's been a while since I've been on my sports channel and on my new channel now I did make a reserve YouTube channel and that channel that's called my reserve channel that's only in case if I run out of space on my primary channels and you guys can't see no more of that great content of mine and then I just made a new channel that's for sports so it's going to actually be the sports show number two. Now, this one's going to be called, um, what we're going to call this? We're going to call this um, NBA, NBA playoffs. NBA playoffs could be Christmas time, holiday. I'll actually find a better, better title that's better than that i don't want a title that's way too long but all right now a lot of y'all have been scratching your head and a lot of y'all been watching a lot of replays of college basketball college football pro basketball pro football baseball hockey all our sports so i decided to make a video on sports predictions so i'm going to probably call this nba nba playoffs could be doing the holidays now normally the nba playoffs the system of basketball games where you see the commercial where it says where it says 40 days and 40 nights normally that would take place in the month of um april may and then by june we'll have the nba finals so normally at this time we would actually have the playoffs right and um, so I, 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 I came up with an idea. See, the NBA plays basketball for nine months, right? What if the NBA season resumed in late September, late October, and then right, right around November is where the season would be concluded and you would create a new system where it would be better known as a basketball tournament. It would be like a cross between the NBA playoffs and the college basketball, better known as the Final Four. It would be a cross between that. And in this system, you take eight of the best teams from the West, eight teams from the East, or, and I say or, you can take four of the best teams from the West and four of the best teams from the East, and you put them in this new system, in this new basketball tournament that determines who's going to be the champion of the West, who's going to be the champion of the East. Now, the Lakers were number one currently and still is. So I'm pretty sure that we would have the continuing of the NBA season, probably I would say late September, early October, right? So somewhere around in there, the NBA season would, would, would continue. It would pick right back up. And they would finish out the last 20, 30 remaining basketball games. Or they would just cut it down and say, you know what? Normally, you have to play 82 games. Instead of playing 82 games, you would probably end up playing 32 or 42 games instead of the usual, you got to get up to 82 games, you know, to make it a total of 82. So they would probably cut that down and say just this one time you play 32 games or 42 games and then by the time you get to November you would probably have the season be concluded and it would be time for the NBA playoffs to start but now you would turn it into a tournament and when you turn it into a tournament um it now becomes interesting now it would be a little new, and some people might say, ain't that's when the season start back up? Yes. But in this case, it would be different. And this would probably boost ratings and television like never, never seen before in history. Why? Because everyone will be watching the basketball games. And you probably could do something that's never been done before in the NBA history. You know how you always have pay-per-view, you know, boxing fights, MMA fights on pay-per-view? You actually could actually take the basketball games and have them televised on pay-per-view, not just on cable and television and live stream internet. 
that would make everyone tune in and watch, right? So you could take out your iPhone, your smartphone, your cell phone or whatever, and you could watch basketball, competitive basketball. And you see, what would be so good about this is that you take the best teams from the West, the best teams from the East, and you put them in a tournament. So it would be a cross between the NBA playoffs and college basketball's Final Four. By doing that, you are creating a new system. So maybe a year or two years from now, you'll try a new NBA playoff system that is similar to the current one. The reason why I say you take four of the best teams from the West and four best teams from the East instead of the usual eight is because you don't want too many basketball teams and the games last for such a long time that you never can get to the actual NBA playoffs. So this would make us get to the NBA playoffs faster. So what would happen is you make it the first round. It would be like seven games still. Second round, still a seven-game series. If you do a third round, you would still make it a seven-game series. And in the and by the time you get to the finals, that's when you will probably say, okay, this will probably be the first time in history we won't have a series that can go to seven games. It'll be one of those type of games where you're just going to have to either win the game in overtime or lose. You know, you, you, to really bring it interesting. And this would attract a new audience. An audience that's never watched basketball before. Now, the reason why I'm doing it with basketball first is because a lot of people watch my content are huge basketball fans. Now, you might ask yourself which teams could be in the tournament if they were to do that. Adam Silver did entertain that next year in 2021, he was contemplating on creating a new playoff system. They were thinking about doing it in 2020 or in 2021. Of course, you would get the best teams, the Los Angeles Lakers, the Clippers, um, the Portland Trail Blazers. Um, let's see, that's three. Let's see, Denver, you could bring the Denver Nuggets in, so that would be four. The Houston Rockets, that would be five. So that would be like five teams right there. But if you cut it down to four, then you would just have to get rid of one of those teams. So for the for this sake, let's just say with eight, right? Eight would have to battle each other, and then it would get, it would get cut down from eight to four. So eight teams would compete during the season, and then when it gets to the end of the season, you would just take four of the best teams from the West and four of the best teams from the East. That way the playoffs don't last as long as it normally would last, and you get to the finals a little quicker. You know, the first round, second round, third round, and then when you get to the finals, it would be pretty much the same. And instead of trying to have a, a game seven, you would probably consider on overtime game, where, okay, if the, if the score is the same, like if it's 110 to 110, you can do an overtime, two overtimes, three overtimes, four overtimes, instead of doing a game seven. Now, normally we would say a game seven, but the circumstances have changed. So I'll do one for football. You may never know. I might do one tomorrow. I'm still taking a break from my other primary channel because my sports channel hasn't really had a chance to get built up. So I'm going to call this one NBA playoffs could be pl the NBA playoffs could be in fall. We could say fall Christmas. The reason why I would say that is because that's what you would expect. So instead of the season starting up, you would continue the season or, when I do or, you could do the season again. But, of course, if you're the number one team in the West, the Lakers, you're not going to want to start all over again. So you would just continue the season again. You would pick the season up, play the 32, 42 games that's left in the season, and make the playoffs and take the best teams and have them go against each other. Now, this right here will be interesting for the NBA because NBA will get some bigger numbers than what they would have got by following the current system. They will get even bigger numbers. You'll see teams really play their heart out, and this is where you find out who are the best teams in the NBA, who are the best teams on the West, who are the best teams on the East. So I'm doing this one with basketball. Now I will turn around maybe Sunday or Monday 
on my sports channel and on my new channel because I have now two sports channels and we'll basically break down how does the NFL bring their season well this you know with NFL with football is a little different because we're way off on football, okay? We're not even close um, to the summertime for me to even make a video about about football. So, it'll be a while before I can get to the football video. But, basketball, around this time, is what you would expect is the NBA playoffs. So, uh, I can make videos about basketball. Cause for those that love basketball, that's why a lot of people stop watching my sports channel. Because... I was talking about boxing, and they really didn't want no boxing. They want basketball and football. So I predict that the NBA will resume the season by late September, early October, and somewhere around November, December is where you would actually have an NBA playoffs. Like it would be the it would be like backwards. Like instead of you have it towards the towards. Not in the summer, but towards the summer, you would have it towards the end of the year where you still had a championship. Somebody won. Somebody lost the championship. So you still have a winner. Somebody wins the championship. Somebody lose. The next video, I'm going to talk about which team could actually win a championship based off of this and which team would actually be favorite um, to do it. So, Because you know a lot of people are going to say Lakers. A lot of people are going to say Clippers. A lot of people East going to say the Toronto Raptors. A lot of people are going to say uh, the Bucks. So, yeah, we're going to talk about those four teams and how that, you know, makes their chances better. So, this video is just to break down what would happen if you took those teams and they played against each other, you know. So, yeah, I ain't talked about basketball in a while. And I know a lot of people are like, man, it's April, man. Well, well you know, no basketball. What's going on? So it's like, yeah, the NBA will come back. And I predict late September, early October. And then your playoffs could be, could be around late October, November. And probably could finish out in December. I mean, think about it. That'd be the biggest Christmas present you can get is an NBA playoffs to end the year. I mean, think about it. And I'll talk about in the next video the teams that you would expect to meet each other in the first round, second round, third round. So I was going to make a series on what would have happened if you made it into a tournament. So uh, this is just one video. So, I did, we'll put this on the sports channel, then we'll put it on my second sports channel, so that way, you know, when the NBA season start up, at least we got a head start on talking about the basketball season. So, next episode, we're going to talk about what would happen if the Lakers won the championship, and how would that, so we're going to have, we're going to break it down in like five episodes, like what would happen if the Lakers won it, how would the Lakers progress through the first round second round third round then we'll do one for the clippers then we'll switch to the east we'll talk about what if the toronto raptors could repeat because you know there's some toronto raptors gonna say we're gonna repeat and then some people gonna say what about the bucks so we'll, we'll take those top four teams and, and in each episode we'll talk about how they would get to the playoffs and how they would win you know so uh yeah i don't want to make this video any longer than what it is until next time Peace.